Hello guys, Christian here. I want to show you a tutorial in SOLIDWORKS about creating multiple drawings from one part. Also, I will start posting a series of tutorials about how to create a drawing in SOLIDWORKS for a turbine blade. So, let's start. This is a rotor turbine blade, a 3D model made in SOLIDWORKS. So, when you start creating a drawing in SOLIDWORKS, just go to File, Make Drawing from Part. If your, if your part was not saved, you will be asked to save your part, and then you will, you will have this window about sheet format and size. It is my advice for, for you to create a drawing template. You can also use the, temp the, the templates in uh, SOLIDWORKS. I will use an A3 ISO format. So right now, this new window, which is called View Palette, it's activated. Here is the 3D model opened. If you have different 3D model, you, you just browse to select a part or assembly to make the drawing. And here are the available views for my part. So I will just drag and drop and move my mouse. So when it is done, I have three views for my part. This and the first one, which I choose from the view palette, and the second one, just move your mouse and the projected view will be automatically created. Here are the display state options in SOLIDWORKS drawing. You can also use a custom scale for your drawing and for rearranging the views in the, in the um, drawing just move with your mouse. If you want to change the format of your sheet of your drawing, just right click on sheet format, edit sheet format, your drawing will be disabled and you have access to only the drawing template and just you, you, you just change things here. To activate again the drawing, just go to in the right to this and the drawing will be activated again. So I have one sheet for my blade, the second sheet, just go to sheet 1, right click and add sheet, you will have here sheet 2, just go to view palette and let's say drag another view for your part, again use custom scale and of course use let's say some auxiliary view for for this so right now you have two sheets for one part also if you if you want to go back to sheet 1 and modify something just right click on sheet 1 and activate the same procedure it is available just by clicking here sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 of course and so on if you go back to the to solidworks and uh, make some changes the change the changes will automatically update the drawings so this is a procedure on how to create multiple drawings from one part in SOLIDWORKS. Until the next tutorial, thank you for watching. Bye.